What up, YouTube? I'm back. I guess you could say is the first mod video of the RSX Type S. It's a, it's a simple mod. It's actually not really anything that crazy, but I'm just gonna change out some interior lights uh, and license plate lights because they are all still the OEM incandescent bulbs, except for the dome light. Previous owner or whoever replaced that light with a blue LED light. It's really tacky and kind of ricey, so I'm placing them all with just bright white LEDs because it's a neutral color, brighter than incandescent, you know, all that stuff. So Ooh, these lights I'm using, I got them off superbrightleds.com. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but I've bought quite a few LED bulbs from them for numerous things in the past. If you have an RSX and you want to do this, uh, I'll put in the description down below the bulb types you need. Even though Super Bright LED's website will show you them anyways, but you know it's for it's easier. Let's get this started. First off, the license plate light. The bulb in here on the rear bumper. Really, the only way to really get to it is get a uh, flat head or some kind of pry tool on one side and just pry it out. Basically, unfortunately, I don't have a tripod, so I can't record this. But you know, I'll do the best I can. Actually, so how I did it was. I put the <laughs> screwdriver on the, you know, this side and push it in, pried it out. As you can see, there's already an LED bulb in there, but I just checked and uh, LEDs are burnt out. There we go. By the way, in case y'all don't know, uh, LED bulbs, they have a specific polarity. So if you put it in and it doesn't light up, just take it out and, and turn it around. It, it should, uh, it should light up. All right. Gotta go check it out now. All right, as you can see, it's on. Got the bulb in right the first time. That's always a good thing. And that bulb was definitely burnt out. So yeah, first light down. All right, next is the trunk light. Just need to get in from here. Push in, there's a clip. There we go. And I gotta take this out quick, so let me put the camera down before it gets too hot. And there you go, there's the new one. This old one's still good, so I might save that. But yeah, there it is. And just put it back in. Reverse as such. It's pretty bright. Brighter than halogen, that's for sure. On to the interior. Alright, it might be a little dark in here because it's sun's pretty much setting, but I kind of started this a little later than I wanted to, but that's alright, whatever. But anyways, now we're moving to the map lights. See? Halogen, and this one's like burnt out. Okay, so what I read up, you hold down one side. As you're holding down this side, you pry from in here with your tool. It's hard to record this, but I mean, I'll, I'll just, I mean, that's the best I could explain it. It's actually pretty easy. And uh, you can see where the switch is right here. Oof, there's the bulb. All right, I took it out. I just needed to, you know, get my, fingers in there in a weird uh, in a weird angle but it was it wasn't too bad this is the one going in I'm a little bit scared because a square shape might be too much for it but uh, we'll have to see so I'm gonna put the camera down oh huh, nice got it in it fits it works it fits no worries I'm just gonna angle just uh, angle the, the bulb to where it's facing the driver some and yeah it works that's great okay all right and good too because i needed the lights so. and then to put this back on you just gotta do it in reverse yep that's just the reverse way you took it out just put it back in and yeah there you go so on to the driver's or passenger side one this one all right yep this thing doesn't work so pull this out oh shit! it works the connection just been off well yep there you go that's why could have worked but it fell apart in here look at that no wonder okay so new bulb oh yeah got it right again the first time so hold on oh, hell yeah sweet Angle it a little bit. Nice. 
nice. I'll put this back on the verse. The reverse way. There we go. Nice. It's already looking better in here. A lot brighter. Just the way I, just the way I was liking it, hoping for it. And the last light. This one right here. This is the bane of my existence when it comes to the interior light. Why? Because of this. Hold on. Sometimes it works, sometimes... There you go. Ugh. That pure blue LED. I mean, if that's, if that's your taste, then sure, I guess. But nope, not mine. This is should be pretty simple. I'm going to turn this off for now. You just take your tool or whatever, wedge it between the plastic, the gray plastic housing, and the uh, the clear plastic. All right, I took it out. It uh, took a little bit of work. It, it'll, I'll tell you now, it, it, it'll definitely be easier job doing all these. If you had a tool or a flathead that was actually, you know, pretty thin at the tip. That was kind of annoying because the, the space in between this and this gray plastic housing was tiny. But anyways, okay, here we go. Ow. There we go. Out with the old. In with the new. Hopefully it turns on. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Oh. There we go. Great. Sweet. The switch is a little messed up, though. I gotta get it in the correct position. There you go. Okay. All right. I am happy. So happy now. Such a simple mod, but, you know, it's it makes the difference. It makes a, quite a difference. So, there. Snap that it back in. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oof. Man, look at that. Yeah, so much brighter. Oh, you know what, I should have done a before and after. I completely forgot about that. Oh, hell yeah. Man, such a little simple mod, but it makes such a good difference, like a quality of life type of difference. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Real simple interior light swap. Several days later. Alright guys, so it's actually several days after I did the installation of the interior lights um, because I ordered off Amazon some reverse light uh, LED bulbs and they arrived so I figured I'd throw this installation in to the end of this video. This is what I got. And this is what they look like. They're advertised to be like a thousand lumens each or something. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Um, they were pretty cheap off Amazon Prime. I usually get my LED bulbs off superbrightled.com. That's where I got the interior lights, but these were pretty cheap off Amazon, so I figured I'd give them a try. Uh, my only worry is that they may or may not fit <laughs> in the uh, reverse light like housing. They might be a little too big, but we'll see. Uh, let's, let's check them out. I uh, already removed remove this side, so let's remove this side. Okay, remove that. Um, don't know why it was fighting me so much, but okay. All right, there's that's right right there is the passenger side. Let's remove that. All right, there it is. It's just a little inc incandescent. It's actually, believe it or not, in the O2s, O4s, the marker light is the same connector and bulb size for. 0506's reverse lights. So when we wired it, you know, we just move that over there. I don't have marker lights now on the side, but you know, whatever. First, let's see if this thing even fits in there. Oh yeah. Oh, it'll fit. It's a, it's a tight fit, but it'll fit. All right, it's gonna be hard to do this with a camera, but I'm just gonna remove this and plug that in. Not start the car, but turn it on. Put in reverse so we can see if these lights turn on. Oof. Damn. Okay. 
I'm blinding. <laughs> and the other side. Ooh, yeah, boy. As you can see, we have light. These things are bright. I mean, the video is not really doing any justice, but this uh, it's gonna make a hell of a difference when backing up. Because with those with those little incandescent bulbs, they were uh, it's like I didn't even have reverse lights to be honest. So. <laughs> All right, let me uh, just plug these back in. There you go. They're definitely a lot brighter. Uh, throw in a little recording once the light, or once the sun is gone completely. Two hours later. It's pretty much nighttime. It's almost nine, which is crazy because there's still sunlight in the distance, but it's pretty much dark. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, damn, nice. All right, that's what I'm talking about. It's lighting up the whole garage. Turn the garage lights off so I can see what difference it makes, but damn, okay, okay. That's what's up. I am very, very satisfied with that. That's that for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys found it informative. Somehow I'm just using my phone to record this entire install and whatnot. If you like it, please like the video. If you wanna see more of what I'm doing with this channel, please subscribe. That's oh, dark, sorry. It's, yeah, just subscribe and like, please. Yes, thank you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.